Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and uh, <laughs> look at this. We're doing green screen. Holy buckets. And, uh, well, a quick explanation before, you know, we do, we continue anything, okay? Yes. Uh, it, it has been a while since I've actually done green screen, so please do forgive me if I'm like... You know, kind of a little choppy here and there. I'm still getting the gist of it, okay? Secondly, we're playing the Nintendo, uh, what was it? Nintendo Switch with our new controller. Yeah, that controller that we only used once in our hack, in our hack channel and all that stuff. Yeah, that, that right there. And the other thing, too. Yes, this is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We're doing this all over again, guys. And I figured that, you know what? Since we're doing green screen for the hack games, might as well do it for this one right here and see what kind of reception we get. I know that, you know, about a year ago, I started this whole walkthrough, re, uh, what was it called, um, you know, I re-recorded them, and then after that, didn't do anything else, missed out on a whole bunch of stuff. This is going to be different, guys, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and continue right here. So, as you guys can see, hello there, it's very nice to meet you, welcome to the world of Pokemon. And, would you look at this, my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Just throwing out the Pokeball. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so he's got himself a Snubble, or not a Snubble, but a Munchlax. And he's going to be like, we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and de develop uh, deeper bonds. And uh, whatever, what, what, what do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn about more Pokemon or something like that. Can't even read, guys. Still can't read. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose the photo from the lineup. Now, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Crystal, they do give you the option of, you know, picking your skin tone and color and all that stuff. And as you guys can see, I do have dark hair, but yeah, I'm, I'm brownish and stuff. Albeit that, you know, the acne is kind of killing me right now. That will be fixed. So, let's go ahead and give us a name right here. Let's go right ahead and go, it's me. It's me, it's GLD, it's Draven. And, oh, crap baskets. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. D-R-E-B-N. And, uh, let's see. Did I press it correctly? Oh, crap baskets. Still trying to get used to this whole controller thing. Okay, so, again, choosing it. And, okay, we got this name down, okay. Yes, your name is Draven. Okay, so you're Draven. A fine name that is. Great. This guy right here. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. He is not my friend. What What? What would his name be? Well, I mean, we could give him the name Damien. I've been watching a lot of Batman as of lately. Uh, let's go with Barry because, well, you know. Barry's his name, and I do like to go with the story and all that stuff. All right, Draven, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless po uh, people and, po and Pokemon. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Despite the exploration's team's best effort, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetly, to the uh, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report: search of the red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nation and Net. I could be on TV, guys. I really can. I'm trying this whole thing on right here. So, anywho, here we are in our room again in the Sinnoh region, and wow, we are in chibi form. Look at that! I am in chibi form right here. Uh. Of course, I'm maneuvering everything through this. Now, before we get started, guys, yes, I know, green screen, it's going to take a lot of work. That is why I am here to announce to you right now, guys, this is going to be a once a, once an episode or once a week episode uh, starting on Saturdays or Sundays or whichever, whichever day I, I like to put it on. Um, the reason being is because, yes, we are trying to, the green screen it takes a lot to set up the lights, the lighting, um, the green screen, trying to like, you know, whatever. But I feel as though that with this game right here, it would be much better if we just did it once a week until, you know, we finally get the groove of it. That gives me enough time to actually, you know, record things, fix up things, go to my other computer and just fix it up right there. So it will be a once a, once a week episode, just like, 
you know, just like our hat game that we have here on our channel. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, I'm fixing up my microphone for some odd reason. Hopefully, hopefully, it will, it will be as successful as my current narrative, you know, narrated episodes and all that stuff. Again, I do like to do everything new and all that stuff, guys. So, let's go right ahead and continue our episode right here. Hmm. We're going down. And there is our mama. Looking at a Chansey for some reason. Draven, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it is about, uh, what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Yeah, I really don't want to meet with that guy. Oh, God, okay, so let's go. Let's get it, and our mom is like, Oh, yes, Draven, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Okay, you're just gonna let me go out there in the wild? Okay, fine, 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 fantastic. I don't care, I really don't care. Anywho, we're... You know, this is taking its time. It's taking its nice, sweet time. Again, sweet time. Anywho, hmm. So there it is, guys. We are in Twin Leaf Town. It is, uh, well, daylight's going down. So we're going to be going to our so-called friends, our friends. Uh, we're going to go to his house. And that is not our friend's house. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so can I run? I can't run. I'm pressing every button right here, and I, I still can't run. You see, this is the reason why this game has gotten a bad review, especially with this Joker right here. Thud! What was that about? Oh, hey, Draven. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Draven. I'm finding you one million if you don't come or if you come late. Yeah, and uh, you forget something. You really do forget something. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so we have to go inside and, you know, talk to this guy and see what this is all about right now. So, here's his mama. And we're going to be talking to her. And she's like, oh, hi, Draven. Are you looking for Barry? He was gone for a second, but he came running back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Probably his dad, who's up in the battle frontier somewhere. Anywho, here we are in his room, and he's like, I'd better take my back and guidebook too. Oh. Oh, hey, Draven. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road, and it's 10 million zenny if uh, you, you're coming late. You know what makes me angry? It's the fact that this guy has the Ace Ventura haircut, and he's ripping him off. Doing a huge disservice to him. So, what I'm going to do is go outside and keep on walking. I'm trying to I'm trying to run here. I really am trying to run right here, guys. And there's literally nothing. Like, this is going fast. That's the fastest it can go. Oh, my God. Come on. Let's go. Okay. So, here we are, Twin Leaf. And I'm trying to use something else. Nothing. Uh, let's see. Start? Nope. Wow, I pressed that button. Okay, uh, let's see. How about this button? Ha, <laughs> we took a picture. Ah, never mind. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go into the options because, of course, we need to fi fix up the type or the, the, the fast. And let's change the window to something nice. Well, I always like the striped ones for some odd reason. That one looks cool. I'm going to choose that one. And yes. Okay, so let's go right ahead and meet up with our buddy a Wally right here. Or not Wally, Barry. Oh, well, I always get these two confused. And well, here he is. Hey, you saw the news report that it was on TV, right? You know the search for the Red Gyarados, my myster the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me thinking. I bet a local, uh, our local lake has a Pokemon like that in, uh, in it too. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to find Pokemon like that. Hmm. That is a very good idea. So, before we do anything, guys, I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, guys. Got a phone call. That's the story of my life right there. So, what we need to do now is we actually have to go into the grass. And remember what your mother said. Draven, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'll be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. Yeah, I don't remember those. 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going straight to the lake right here and, uh, well, variety lakefront. Of course, Barry has to follow us because, you know, he likes to coattail on our winnings right here. So we're going to be going inside the variety uh, lakefront. And as you guys can see, there are two individuals right there waiting for us. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out here uh, out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we uh, we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I, I can't say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us well in regard to our studies. That is true. Very, very true. And uh, Professor Rowan is like, excuse me, let us pass. Okay, all right. And uh, <laughs> Don is like, let us, let us through. Yeah, let us through. Yeah. What was that about? Those two. He's looking around. He's like, huh, Draven, let's check this out. Dot, 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 dot. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for Wild Pokemon to come out. Yeah, I just went into the I just went into the the place and uh, yeah, I remember my words. But if you want to be a hyperactive kid, then well, whatever. Okay, it's a briefcase. Those people must have forgotten. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try and return it, but who who are they? I heard them say Professor. And just like that, we're getting attacked by uh, these Pokemon right here. Oh my god, what's going on? It is time, guys. It is time, and look at that. We get ourselves three Pokeballs. So, you get the choice of Turtwig, the tiny the tiny leaf Pokemon. And then you get yourself, uh, you know, Chimchar, the Chimchar, the Chimp Pokemon. And then you get Piplup, the Penguin Pokemon. So, we're going to be continuing this whole thing right here with the Pokemon we know best because, well, we kind of did a disservice in all that stuff. We're going to be going with the best fire type in this whole region, the Chim Pokemon, Chimchar, again. So, if you guys want to hate on that, then, you know, you can comment down below. I don't care. So, here it is, guys. It's time for a battle. So, here's your boy without his cap and everything. I got a cap right here. And we are going to be taking on a Starly. As you can see, Chimchar is ready to go, ready to kick some butt, take some names and everything. We're going to be battling. Let's go with the Scratch attack right now. And Scratch. That was powerful. And, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. We're, 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 getting, uh, we're getting our attack lowered and all that stuff. So, here we go. Scratch attack yet again. And just like that. Say goodbye to Starly. That gives us, you know, a nice amount of points. Huh! Your Chimchar totally rocked. But my Piplup was tougher than yours. You mu must you make everything a competition. Seriously. There were two other people, or there were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? And Dawn is coming, and she is not happy right now. That's right, push him away. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been uh, furious if I lost it. Oh, oh no! Did, did you use the Pokemon in here? Yeah, I, we kind of did. You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is no good. Or this is not good. I'll take this brief face for now. Mm. So we kind of did something. I don't know. What was that up about? I don't know what's going on, Draven. Let us get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we, got it, if we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might get be in trouble. That is true. Well, let's go and uh, let's uh, follow Barry, I guess, because, you know, he is the lead guy, I guess. I don't know. You go ahead. I know we, we have to return these Pokemon to the... that are, They are not ours. But I want to send uh, just a... Or I want to spend a, just a little more time with the little guy. Hmm. That is true. So, we're going to go back home. We're gonna heal up and then, you know, do the whole thing right here. So, let's let's fast forward this whole thing right here. 
Okay, so uh, we, 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 we got a little situation right here. So as you guys can see, Professor Rowan and Don, our girlfriend, you know, Hey, it's those two people. Uh, is the old guy staring at us? Yes, he is. He's he looks uh, he looks pretty uh, angry. Hmm. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see, Plim, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. Dot dot dot. Hmm. I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um. Uh, okay. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Oh, uh, well, uh, that is how it is right there. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Draven, we should go home too. Well, we're going to be going home. And uh, look at this, our mama. She's doing stuff. She is cooking for us. She's doing everything. By the way, Thanksgiving was a few days ago, and uh, shout out to my mom and my cousin for cooking a pretty good meal. Anywho, our mom is like, what's up, dear? Wow, I, I, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I glad that you, that the, both of you and, uh, and Barry are harmed? Well, she's glad that I'm not harmed, but Barry, you know, she's kind of disappointed a little bit. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjimtown. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite int intimidating. Yeah, I, I think it's the beard and the bushy eyebrows and all that stuff. Draven, I think you need to visit uh, Sanjim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Yeah, well, I guess we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? Oh, I know, Draven, please put these on. And finally, we get some running shoes. Thank, thank Arceus. Going to Sand Gym Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. I don't need the... I, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm not pressing the button right here. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yes, it is nifty. I didn't read that. So, let's see. What do we need to do? Huh. We don't need to do anything except just run. So, we're stepping outside. As you guys can see, I'm just moving... Just like that, but if you press, you know, these little buttons right here, we're moving at a regular play a pace. So it looks like to me, I'm just gonna be uh, running around and everywhere. And uh, hmm. I have a feeling that we need to go to Barry's place because, well, Barry's Barry, Barry, yeah, Barry's Barry. So we're going into Barry's house and let's see what the mama has to say. Oh, you become friends with a Pokemon too. Okay, she doesn't say anything. Where are you, Barry? Where are you? And he is nowhere to be found. One time I need him, and he's gone. Okay, so looks like to me, I am uh, going to find Barry on top of it all. I got to, you know, train my Pokemon just a little bit. So let's go right ahead and run straight to Sand Gym Town. And here we are in Route 201, running across everything. That way no Pokemon attacks us. But look at this, the very first Pokemon to tax us happens to be our Lord and Savior himself, Bidoof. Yes. Why does everybody call him uh, the Lord and Savior? Obviously, because this guy can learn any kind of a HM and everything. So, let's go ahead and just battle him. Do things, scratch it up, you know. Scratch it. And there you go. Yeah, this, this guy is not taking any kind of, like, you know, ish from us and all that crud. And look at that. We, we, we're getting growled at. Lots of growls. Plenty of growls. Okay, so the Chimchar has fallen a little bit more, but here we go. Scratch attack. Come on! We gotta beat this guy. Yeah, this guy is like dang near invincible, so let's go right ahead with one more scratch attack. And there you go. Defeated. And just like that, we get some more points. Now, another thing that really disappoints me about this game is like the, the experience. Yeah, they really made it an effort for us to work for all this experience points and all that stuff. It, it gets annoying. So here we are in San Jim Town, and mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh, there you are. Please come with me. Professor's waiting for you. Whatever you say, baby. 
This is a uh, this is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. And uh, oh my god, I can't stand this dude. I really can't. What the? Oh, it's you, Draymond. That old guy. He's not scary much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Draven. I'm out of here. See you later. Okay. Again, he's a very hyperactive kid, and uh, I am not praying for him at all. Okay. What was that? And, uh, well, anyway, let's go inside. Yes, please, let's go inside. Let's never see Barry ever again, which, you know, might, might happen here and there. But here is the professor, and he's going to be like, dot, dot, dot. Finally, you've come. Draven, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give you that Chimchar as a gift. Now, now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah. Let's go ahead and give it its uh, given nickname. Many of you guys already know it. I kind of want to call it Monfernomon, but I don't know. You know what? Let's just let's let's do that, okay? Because I never call it Infernomon. I call it Monfernomon. So, ladies and gentlemen. Our good old buddy, Monfernomon. I am not gonna collect that. I'm still I'm still trying to get used to this whole thing right here. Mon Ferno. Yeah, I have to spell it out, I really do. Let's see. Monferno. That's right, we're making the cut right here. Monfernomon. There you go. Monfernomon with one letter to spare. Alrighty, let's press that button. Hmm, okay, I see. I see that you're happy with that nickname. Yes! Your your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard that you battled well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and your Pokemon, though it is still young. That is why I, I, I would entrust you with the Chimchar. Okay, alrighty. I'm glad to see the... Uh, I'm, glad to, I'm glad that you're kind toward the Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Huh. I just can't say it. She probably beat us up. Hmm, okay, let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan, I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to, well, this is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with the Pokedex. Will you use it to record the data on a Pokemon of Sinnoh for me? Yes, I will. I will. I will. And, okay. Hmm. Good answer. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Pokedex. Always needed in our adventure. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of your Pokemon you encounter. Draven, I ask you to go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I, I move my hands for no reason, guys. I've got one, too. When you walked up at Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I felt exhilarated. I felt like I was on top of the world. I could destroy anything. I've lived for six or for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are there are just many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Draven. Your grand adventure begins now. Okay, and here we have Dawn, and of course she's gonna be uh, she's gonna pick the Pokemon weakest to our Pokemon. The Pokemon you that, that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we would have had the same Pokemon. That is impossible. No, <laughs> it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been it. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Don. I'm also help I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Draven. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. We gotta step outside for just a little bit. And before anything happens, here is Don. She's like, okay, Draven, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a little bit more experience than you as a trainer, as a professor assistant. Okay, follow me. Look at us, we're taking a tour. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that I've uh, have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Mm -hmm. And then here we have the Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, this building over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items with medicine. Draven, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. 
It's bothering me. Oh, that's right, Draven. Don't let, uh, don't you need to, uh, to let your family know that you're going, uh, going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? Yeah, again, still can't read properly, guys. You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let somebody know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot, le a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I'm gonna marry that chick one day. I don't know. Anywho. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go all the way back home. Get whatever I need to get for my mama. And I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're back right here with our mama. And uh, what we need to do is we need to talk to our mama and be like, Hey, mom, we gotta go. We gotta hightail it out of here because we got big boy stuff to do. Welcome home, Draven. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest. Now... Off screen, I did train my Pokemon up to a good little level seven. Yes, the grading or the uh, experience share or the experience thing here is just, it's ridiculous, guys. It really is. Anywho, our mom is like, what's up, Draymon? Dot, dot, dot. Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something big? Oh, okay. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. I've got something useful. Uh, for, uh, I got something that will be useful for you. Again, still can't read, guys. And we get ourselves a guidebook, which. It, it really doesn't do much and well the guidebook they take a look at it curious about have any questions and all that stuff you may find an answer now gee a, a journey full of an adventure I envy you kiddo plus you're not all alone you have your Pokemon with you I wish I could go instead I'm just joking Draven all right all right by myself uh, dear so go so you go and enjoy your adventure when you're exposed to new things and uh, experience new sensations it makes your mother happy too. Please, but please come back some uh, sometimes. I would like to get see all kinds of Pokemon you've caught. Okay. And yes, there is the guidebook. And uh, wow. Just like Barry, Barry's mom's gonna be like, "Excuse me, is my little Barry here?" Oh no, he's not. Oh, then that must be that must be, that must or wow, still can't read, guys. Then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Dra Draven will deliver it for him. Seriously, Mom. Seriously. Won't you, Draven? No. No. Oh, really? Would you do that for me? No. No, 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 no. And, uh, well, I have no choice but to deliver to him. Oh, my God. Okay. Gotta, you know seat myself and well we're getting a parcel so thanks a lot Barry and uh, well bye bye Draven enjoy your adventure let me think knowing my boy he would probably head straight to Jubilife City okay please take that to my Barry I don't I really don't well <sighs> thanks a lot mom you ruined it bye bye Draven enjoy your adventure okay so we're going to move straight back to where Don is, and we're going to continue our adventure right here because uh, we got lots of stuff to do right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Oh, yeah, there was something else that we needed to discuss. Oh, Draven! You're forgetting something important. She bequeaths us our good old uh, hat. Or, I don't know, a fedora? What the hell do you call that thing? Yes, that hat always suits you well, Draven. Now go off! Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Anywho, again, going back over there. We might do a little bit of training, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys, back in uh, San Jim Town. And now, before we do anything, there is something right here that you can grab, I hope. Probably. Yes, there is an item right here. Grab that, and we found ourselves an antidote, okay? People usually forget that for some odd reason. So, let's go all the way back to our girlfriend, Dawn, and see what she has to teach us. Because, well, you know, we're... You know, we're rookies, we're noobs, we're this, we're that, and uh, here we are in Route 202, and there she is, all her lovely self. And she's gonna be like, Oh, that's right! Draven, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Okay. Look at that, step one. Find our Lord and Savior, Bidoof. Step two. Use your starter Pokemon. Or any kind of Pokemon you have. Step three. Attack it. Now, attack it more times than not. And, uh, yeah, that Bidoof can hit. 
Step three, or step four. Can't count, guys. Yeah, since HP has gone down, so she's going to be daring, and she's going to throw a Pokeball at it. So, let's see. She's got nine potions? Wait, how many? Oh, my gosh. She's got, like, so many Pokeballs right here. Holy buckets. Okay, so there she is throwing the ball. And uh, there's two. And there's three. She's throwing out, she's throwing out the B sign right there, guys. Wow. She's badass. Anywho, see? Isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower the, tar the target's HP more than I did. Yeah, I, I kind of know that. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP to drop down low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is so very difficult to catch. Oh! Pokemon also... Poke Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them to sleep, go to sleep or using something to, you know, Pokemon move. Okay, Draven, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. And yes, she will be giving us hopefully 10 of these 25 Pokeballs she has. How in the heck did she... Okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna go there. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along too. Okay, I need to get going now. Bye now. Well, our mama awaits us, kind of. Not really. So, what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I am going to I'm going to capture two Pokemon that I've had on, had my eye on. And would you look at that? Here we have a Shinx. Now, everybody goes with the Shinx for some odd reason right here. I don't know. Probably it's because it's like, you know, it's the first electric type Pokemon you'll ever find. You don't really need it. And well, as you guys can see, Shink is Shinx is not taking anything from nobody. Okay. And uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and scratch it one last time. You know, scratch. There we go. And there it is. And it does have the Thundershock attack. So this is very beneficial for you guys because they actually changed up a lot of things. Now, I can press the X button. Bam. Throw a Pokeball at it. Come on. One, two, three. Throwing out the peace sign. So, there you go. Monferno Mon has uh, more experience points. And we've captured Shinx. Added it to the Pokedex. And as you guys can see right here, Shinx, the Flash Pokemon. All of its uh, fur dazzles in if danger is sensed. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. It's a pretty cool move right there. So, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. I completely forgot its nickname, so you guys are going to have to, like, uh, bear with me right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Well, uh, it's Electrostar. I completely forgot about that. And, wow, it's very poetic how, like, things are going the same way as, like, my last walkthrough. And, yes, I still don't know how to freaking, uh, you know, I still don't know how to spell. So, let's see. Elec. There we go. Tro. And there we go. Star. That's right, Electro Star. God dang it. Still don't know how to spell it, damn it. Okay, so here we go. Electro Star. Pressing the start button. There you go. It has been added to our party. So, let's go ahead and find that second Pokemon that we've been looking for. Before we start battling anybody else and all that crud. And look at that. It's like fate. Fate has daunted us with uh, two very, very good Pokemon. All right, bring it on, Starblade. We need you. A mission has been uh, asked of you, and look at that, Starly is just like, yeah, Star Starly is just like, whatever. <laughs> okay, press that X button, and yes, throwing out that both ball. I'm already reassuring it. Throwing out that peace sign. <laughs> okay. All right. So, there we go, a level up, and all our Pokemon are getting some experience points, thanks to, you know, whatever the level scaling is, and it has been added to our Pokedex. As you guys can see, Starly, the Starling Pokemon, both normal and flying type. They flocked in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Very, very great power. So, yes, we are going to bequeath this name, Starblade, if we can spell it correctly. I'm just saying. Starblade. We got two stars on our team. Star. There we go. Blade. That's right. Starblade. 
I'll be right back with you guys after I heal up the Pokemon. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and uh, it is time. It's time to get our first Pokemon battle, aside from Barry and all that stuff. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we must battle. I didn't... I didn't look at him. I didn't. Anywho, here we are taking on Youngster Tristian, and he is going to be coming out with his Starly. Now, something... Something that is okay is that, like, okay, if your Pokemon that you just captured can't hack it right now, you can always let Monfernomon do all the all the work right here. So, here we go. Monfernomon, Ember attack. Starly is not liking it, so here we go with a Tackle attack. And yes, obviously, I was training my Pokemon off screen because, well, I am an overachiever. And there you go. Starly has been defeated. And look at that. Starblade grows to level 4. See? Told you. It's not that hard. Come on. It is not that hard, okay? So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing. And, uh, let's see. What does this say? Uh, the Pokemon that are involved in a battle earn more experience points than the Pokemon on your team that are not involved in battle. This is very obvious. Alright, so... Who's the next challenger? I spy with my little eye. A trainer! A battle, please. Let's go. Okay, so here we are taking on last Natalie, and she's looking all beautiful and everything. Throwing out her Bidoof. Okay, alright Bidoof, you and me don't like each other, but here's Monfernomon. Ready to go, take some names. Let's go with an Ember attack for the win. And that nearly wins it, but here comes a Growl attack. Holy buckets. Yeah, we're not going to like that one, so let's go right ahead. And hit it with a Ember attack yet again. And bam! Beedoof has been defeated. Yes! Okay, so more experience points for all our Pokemon. Starblade is just learning some. Well, yeah, look at that. It's learning some new moves. So this is pretty good. And she's going to be coming out with a Beedoof. Let's go ahead and use a new Pokemon. Let's go! Starblade. Actually, Electro Star. My bad. My freaking bad. Alrighty, so Bidoof, Lord and Savior, not in this game right here. Let's go straight for a, a Thundershock attack for the win. And uh, wow, it has some pretty good. To, it, it has a pretty good zing to it. So let's go Thundershock yet again. And bam, Bidoof has been defeated. Alrighty, good start to our game right here. And look at this, Electro Star grows to level six. Yeah, we, 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 we working. We are working. And she's not liking it out, not one bit. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on to the next part right here. And there is a trainer waiting for us. Let's see what he has to say. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Huh. I'm gonna win. Alright, whatever you say, homeboy. So here we are taking on Youngster Logan. And Youngster Logan wants to come out with a Shinx. Yeah, let's go. Bring it on, Shinx. Alright, Monfernomon, how's it going? And, uh, well, I just realized something. Our Shinx doesn't have Intimidate. Good gravy. Okay, so that right there is going to be a, a strategy thingy. I don't know I don't know where I'm going with all this, guys. And here comes a Thundershock. That hits us pretty hard right there. And let's go straight for an Ember attack for the win. And, yes. Look at that. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. And Monfernamon grows to level 9 and is learning taunt. Now, the funny thing is, guys, that in this game, especially in uh, Shining Pearl, you got to be very strategic against the Elite Four because apparently they are, they are tough. Tougher than nails. Tougher than anything. And if you talk to this guy, some people or some Pokemon only appear in the morning. Some come out at night. I'm going to keep waiting right here until I've seen every last one of them. Okay, that is true. And this is the afternoon in this game. Uh, where I'm at, it's, it's currently 6 p.m. and it's nighttime. So, yeah, you gotta love winter. Anywho, we're taking on another Starly right here. I think, doesn't Starly have an Intimidate? I could be wrong. No. Uh, let's go ahead and rust this chicken right here. So, look at that. We got a full set of moves, and uh, there we go. Oh, come on! And here comes a tackle attack. 
not so effective, but it was a critical hit, so let's go straight for an Ember attack yet again. And bam, Starly has been defeated. All right. And look at this, our Pokemon are growing levels, so this is this is a good thing, guys. Very, very good thing. Okay, let's get into the first city, Jubilife City, and as you can see right here, mm, 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 mm. Hi, Draven, are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you feel a lot safer if you catch some more. In Jubilife City, there's a trainer school which, well, you know. Draven, you should visit it, you'll get some tips on, on Pokemon. Oh yes, uh, Barry went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Why are you leaving me with him? People hate me. They really do. Okay, so what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to heal up our Pokemon because, well, we, we need the healing of our soul and everything. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right now. Okay, so we're back outside, guys. And, well, Jubilife City. It's a pretty big city. Now, normally, I would cut these down into like bits and pieces and all that stuff I get it guys but since we're doing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond once a week until we get the hangs of, hang of all this uh, green screen stuff yeah this is going to be a jam-packed episode of a whole bunch of stuff that you know you guys probably want to know so Jubilife City has a trainer school right here let's see let's go ahead and talk to this the trainer school for step for trainers all right let's go inside and see what this is all about and well, would you look at that? Barry's right there looking like Ace Ventura's, you know, hated son. Hey, Draven. Did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything on the uh, up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Draven, what brings you here? You got something for me? And yes, we have delivered a parcel. Which, uh, I guess it's good. So, what is this? Score, it's a town map. Huh? Why are there two? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Draven, you can take one. And there it is. He's nice enough to help us out right here. And, uh, hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orber City is where it should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising Pokemon. I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Yeah, he, he's not going to be the greatest trainer of all time. I will make sure of that. Anywho, let's go straight to these two people. You talk to this guy, and he's gonna be like, battling is the best way to learn. Can you get the, can we get a battle with you? Sure. Go, my Pokemon, go. Okay, so, just realize this. They are very strategic guys. Here we are taking on school kid Harrison, and he is gonna be coming out with an Abra. Now, Abra, physically, sucks. It does, and uh, if you can uh, if you can hit it with physical attacks instead of you know uh, special attacks, then you'd be golden right there. And as you guys can see, bam, it's frail. Here comes a charge beam. This right here will uh, yeah will increase its special attack. And trust me, you don't want its special attack to grow. And oh my god, how did it get its speed uh, over us? Look at that, it's kicking our butt right now. And here it goes a scratch attack. There you go. Defeated him. And, well, there we go. Getting some more levels for our Pokemon right here. And School Kid Harrison has been defeated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. That is true. And we do not want our Pokemon to, you know kind of mess up or anything like that or just lose our Pokemon so yes I stocked up on some potions just in case something like this is gonna happen and if we talk to this girl right here she's gonna be like I just became friends with my Pokemon I'm not sure if we can do this properly but wait may we have a battle yes you may yes you may all right let's go right ahead and take on the next trainer right here here we are taking on school kid Christine and she is coming out with an Abra as well again Physicality is its weakness, and dark types and bug types, and I think fairy types, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And here we go. Scratch attack from Monferno Mon. There we go, and uh, charge beam. Okay, so that right there increases its special attack. Let's go. Scratch attack, and again, we're taking the short end of the stick right here. Yeah, it's hitting us pretty badly right there. So, here we go. 
Scratch attack for the win, and that is how you do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and two of our Pokemon grow levels. Look at this. Starblade and Monfernomon. And Christine, she's not happy at all. I am happy. I'm very happy. Okay. We were actually confident that we could do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like, talk to my friend and get some technical machines from him. Uh, so him? And let's see. Woo, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but you were no match at all. You'd be able to use these technical machines properly. Here you go. And we get ourselves some TM10s. Now, this this is kind of like my beef. Why did you take the unlimited TMs? Oh, never mind. Nintendo, you suck. So, here we have the TM10, which is Workup. Workup in battle will raise the attack and special attack of the Pokemon at the same time. But remember, the TM is good for only use. One use. That's why he gives us a group of them and all that stuff. And if we talk to this guy, yes, he's telling us the basics of Pokemon and all that crud. So, yeah. Anywho. Um, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. Finish off whatever we need to finish off right here, and then I guess that will be the first episode, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and we are healthy and ready to go. Now, this guy right here is going to see us, and he's going to be like, Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. But don't you have a Poketech yet? Poketech is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufactured Poketechs. Not only that, I am now conducting a Poketech promotional campaign. All you have to do is find the three clowns, not me, in uh, Jubilife City. I think I see one clown right there. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketech. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and find those clowns. I just ate something, guys, and yeah, it feels good. Um, so there's one clown. And hi, I'm the Pokedex Clown. Let's roll out my question. Does Pokemon grow by defeating others and again gaining experience points? Yes. Ding ding! You're absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into a different Pokemon through the process known as evolution. Here's your, uh, here you go, your Pokétech coupon, and here we are. We get ourselves a Pokétech coupon. Yeah, buddy! Okay, so let's see. Who's next right here? Who can we find? There's somebody right here. There's a clown here. There's got to be a clown here somewhere. All I see is lots of clowns. Okay, so this guy right here, he's going to be like, Hi, I'm the Pokétech campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can a Pokémon hold an item? Yes. Ever since Generation 2, that's actually happened, and well... There we go. We got ourselves another coupon right here. And uh, I didn't read the other one because, like, I'm <coughs> really feeling that cough right again. And, uh, well, let's see. We got... <coughs> Excuse me just a bit. Anywho, my bad again. Uh, let's go ahead and find that third clan. And there he is. And all we got to do is, like, hi! I'm the Poketech Clown. Of course, he's going to say the same thing. Just like Pokemon, do, do the moves have uh, types? Yes, they do. Types, split, the whole shebang. If a Pokemon uses, uh, or types matches the type of a move it uses, the move even, uh, the move is much, is made much more powerful, which is true. It's, a uh, stab, I guess, I, I guess that's what you guys call a stab move, I think. I don't know, probably. So, there it is. We got our second, third, <coughs> <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, guys. Man, this coughing has got to stop. Anywho, we got our next coupon right there. Now, before we do anything, guys, I kind of want to do a little something-something right here. So, if you go towards this area, you will be able to find, I think, this guy right here. He's like, yes, sir! An old rod is a good thing. You think so? Yes, am I right? Yes, you are. Yes, good answer. We could be friends. Here you go. This is my old rod. And, well... We're getting the old rod right here, guys. And you should fish wherever the body of water is. Oh, and by the way, did you need any tips of using a fishing rod? No, I don't. I really, 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 really don't. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here, guys, is we're going to be fishing. So let's see. What do we have right here? If this can go any faster, that would be awesome. Finally. Okay, so here we are in Route 218, 
And there is going to be somebody right here looking at us. He's like, I asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Sucks for you. Anywho, I am going to start fishing because there is a specific Pokemon I want to get early on into this whole thing right here. Let's go right ahead and register this little sucker to the top. Actually, hold on. Reg Damn it! Okay, I eventually will register it. And... Nope, nothing. Not even, not even a nibble. So let's go ahead and use this again. Register it to the top. Yes. And all we have to do now is press the plus button. Now, in this control, where is the plus button? Let's see. Plus button. Plus button. Where is the plus button? Uh, where is... Shoot, what, pl what, what is the plus button right here? Oh, there it is. It's the start button. There we go. Yes, it's the start button onto this control right here. Now, if you guys remember, on my birthday, I got this, this control as like a birthday gift to myself. And look at that. It comes with everything that you need right here. Look at that. Two buttons right there. All that stuff. And you can connect it to your Nintendo uh, Switch. Uh, what I am looking for is a male Hydra because, well, the males are a lot stronger. So let's try this again. Press that button. And what do we have here? Damn it. Nothing. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys when I find myself a male Magikarp. Okay, so we found ourselves a male. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and press that X button and see if we can actually capture it, like, right there in that. So, there you go. Throwing out that peace sign. Yeah. Yeah, I am for sure about that. Anywho, there it is. We captured ourselves a newer Pokemon, and Electrostar gets another, you know, level, and it's learning charge. Okay, that's pretty good. So, here is Magikarp, the fish Pokemon. Weak AF. Very weak. It is said to be the weakest Pokemon ever. No one knows why it manages to survive. Well, many, 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 and I mean many. Many of these creatures who are deemed weak, they usually find a way. It's like that guy from uh, Jurassic Park, the one that I wanted dead. Yeah, Goldblum. Nature finds a way. I really wanted him dead in that first movie, but he just survived the next two. I'm just like, man, this guy, like these people, they survive. Anywho, I deem you Hydra. There we go, Hydra. Welcome to the team, bud. Alrighty, so now it is time for us to head on over to the next area right here Get our Poketech and then be done with this whole episode right here. Can you guys believe it? Caught four Pokemon in the very first episode right here and Man, this is this is fun. This is fun waiting on this Okay, this is getting annoying, you know the whole wait screen and all that crud so, here we are back in Jubilife City, and all we need to do now is go back to this guy, and he's gonna be like, Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Poketech, and one, two, and three. Bravo! I say bravo! In return for these coupons, I present you with a, Poke a Pokemon Watch, or Poketech for short. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Poketech. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so please press on the R button and try it out. As you guys can see, we got a Poketech, and... Well, that right there concludes our episode. Let's press that R button right there. As you guys can see, uh, how do we... Oh, actually, we can't do nothing right now. Okay, so as you guys can see, we can move this around. And it has a calculator, a watch, a step thingy, uh, uh, our Pokemon thingy, and uh, 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 a watch. Yeah, so uh, we're going to... Let's see, what if we... Yes. If we press, uh, let's see, hold on to that, yes, it will disappear. So, it is time for us to conclude this episode, guys. It has been a very long one, but you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and how we're going to be doing this from here on end. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our new, our, our Pokemon and ourselves before we finish off this whole episode right here. So, 
Here we have Monferno Mon, our starter Pokemon, fire type Pokemon, all that crud. It, it, it is a naughty nature, like spicy food. And its stats right here, its physical attack is better. Special defense is kind of, yeah, and its ability is Blaze. The next Pokemon is Shinx, female, hasty nature, you know, like sweet food. And its speed, it's, you know, it's right there, but its defense just, yeah, it sucks. And it has rivalry, meaning becomes competitive and deals more damage to a Pokemon of the same gender, but deals less to the Pokemon of the opposite gender. So, yeah, we gotta be very, very mindful of that. The next one is Starblade. Yeah. Timid nature. Speed up there. Physical attack, not there. We might have to change that. And it does have Keen Eye, which prevents any kind of lowering of accuracy. And finally, Hydra, the runt, the weak Pokemon. Yeah, it has a relaxed nature, and its speed is going to be its downfall. Defense is right up there. So, uh, yeah, we, 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 we'll be fine right here, guys. We will be fine. Now, one last thing. Let's go straight into the trainer card. And as you can see, mm, 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 sexy AF. Well, right there, not me right here. I kind of got like a butterface kind of going right there. And, well, as you guys can see, on your the back of your trainer card, it has contact, context, contest ranks battle tower running uh winning streaks and uh digging sessions and all that stuff yeah it, ha it keeps track of every little thing so anywho like i said at the beginning of this episode guys this will be a once a week kind of episode thing because of the whole green screen and all that stuff and how we maneuver with this whole thing and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy it i cannot wait till next week to show you guys the next episode yes it will be long episodes because you guys probably don't want a small episode in green screen or anything like that. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back next week for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. See you guys.